Hey everyone, J7Jace here, bringing you a video all about the many Divine Knights of Final Fantasy Tactics. Just like the Holy and Dark Knights of FFT, they are all very similar, yet different at the same time, from their stats, abilities, and even equipment options. I'll also be including another character who is virtually a Divine Knight, but with a different name. But let's check it out. I wanted to start off the video by taking a look at Flomarv, the leader of the Knights Templar. Like most knights, he can equip the typical swords, knight swords, shields, helmets, robes, and heavy armor. Although one thing that sets him apart is that he can equip clothing, which I find a lot more useful, especially as the game progresses. For his abilities, he comes with the standard four Divine Knight abilities. Crush armor, helm, sword, and accessory. These are some of the strongest abilities in the game as they are ranged, instant, 100% accurate, do heavy damage on top of breaking equipment. For best results, increase your physical attack and equip weapons with higher attack power. Just note that if an enemy has safeguard or maintenance equipped, these abilities won't ever land, and if you're on the PlayStation 1 version of the game, these skills won't work on monsters, or if a human enemy doesn't have the specific designated item equipped, so keep that in mind. In War of the Lions, these abilities will do more damage if the target has no equipment, with the overall damage of Crush Armor or Shelba Stab being the highest. However, in most cases, I found all the other abilities doing more than enough, but if a target does have a helm, armor, weapon, or accessory equipped, then Unyielding Blade's damage will be the same. Additionally, Fulmar does have a unique Magic's Command with the Magic Spell Quake. It can do some pretty good damage, just make sure to have a higher fate stat and an accessory that will boost Earth Elemental. But if you were playable as a normal character, I'd still stick with Unyielding Blade in most cases. To finish it off, for his stats and multipliers, they are quite amazing, especially his HP, evasion rate of 25%, and physical attack. And his move rate of 4 and speed are also very nice for a knight. And if he were playable, he's easily S tier. Next is Rofel, better known as Jeffrey Lawfrey in War of the Lions. His equipment options are the same as Vomarv's, so take advantage of that clothing option if possible. His stats and multipliers are very similar, just inferior in PA, HP, and evasion rate, but I still find them very impressive. Where Rofel mostly starts to deviate is with his abilities. Even though he has Unyielding Blade, he doesn't have Crush Accessory or for those familiar with the much cooler PS1 name, Ice Wolf Bite. And while he does have a unique Magic's Command, just like Fulmarv, he has three different spells. Delirium, which can confuse enemies, Induration, which causes stone, and lastly, Quiescence, which silences. In short, he's just a slightly weaker Fulmarv, but still would be a very deadly character if he were playable. Now, the only real Divine Knight that we can control and use is Melidal, who is also the only female of this group, meaning she can equip hair adornments and perfumes, which can make her incredibly strong in different ways. For the most part, she has the same equipment options as Fulmarv and Rofel. What sets her apart on top of being a lady is her ability to equip crossbows and polearms which I don't recommend using in harder fights as I feel swords and knight swords are just better and we need these weapons equipped in order to use Unyielding Blade. Her stats and multipliers aren't nearly as good as the other two Divine Knights, but her damage is more than adequate and the ability to equip things like Ribbon and Tyna Rouge make her just as good and arguably even better. Last but not least is King Delita's Arc Knight, which is more or less the same because he also has Unyielding Blade with the same four Divine Knight abilities. His version of it has a different job description, but it's virtually shouting, I'm a Divine Knight to you. For equipment, it's nearly identical with some noticeable differences. Even though he can equip the usual swords, knight swords, shields, helmets, robes, and heavy armor, he can't equip clothing like the other Divine Knights. However, the unique thing about Delita is that he can equip flails, and more importantly, knives. His favorite wife stabbing weapon, although if you want to get technical, he disarms her and takes the knife. As for his stats and multipliers, they aren't nearly as good for the most part, 
especially when you compare him to Fomarv and Rofel. While being an Arc Knight, he does have 3% more evasion than Melidal on top of slightly more HP and PA, but in most cases, I don't think this is as good as being able to equip the female exclusives. He does, however, have slightly more speed, and I do think he does look better in terms of looks and fashion, which is another factor we can't forget about. To wrap this all up, the Divine Knights of Final Fantasy Tactics are extremely similar in virtually all areas, with a large focus being on their fantastic damage with Unyielding Blade that can destroy enemy equipment. Of these four characters, I'd have to rank Melido first, as she is the only one we can actually use in the party. While her physical attack and HP are inferior to the other three, the female exclusives give her a distinct advantage in my opinion. In second place, I gotta give it to Full Marv. He is just a tanky powerhouse, having the most HP and physical attack of the four, making him very worthy. Third would have to be Lafrey or Rofel. While he is still very competent, he is just a slightly weaker version of Full Marv. And lastly, in the fourth spot would have to be King Delita's Arc Knight. His attack and HP are inferior to Fulmarv and Lafrey, and while he does have more PA and HP than Melidal, the female items give her a clear edge. The one extra speed can be more useful in some situations, and he does have, in my opinion, the best looking sprite of this group, but sadly, looks aren't saving him this time. That's all for this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you later with more videos. Take care.